Welcome to the You Can Be Healthier TV channel by the Wings of Love Nonprofit Corporation. My name is Ron Hammond. In the next minutes, I'll talk to you about the long-term impact of COVID-19 and how to protect yourself by using natural medicine. It's been three years since humanity started to deal with the COVID-19 pandemic. As the pandemic continues, we're constantly learning the effects that it can have on our organs and overall health. This multi-system inflammatory syndrome compromises the immune system and may cause organic damage affecting the heart, kidneys, skin, and brain, among other organs and tissues, even if you fall sick with no symptoms or mild illness. If you had a severe illness with COVID-19, especially if you were hospitalized or needed intensive care, you probably know well what it is to experience the post-COVID-19 syndrome. If you were not aware until now, that you may be having symptoms of the post-COVID-19 syndrome, you should talk to your healthcare provider. Your information will help your doctor to develop the right treatment plan for your needs. Symptoms are diverse. Medical specialists, from the JAMA network open, say the list of symptoms and its persistence here remains poorly documented, but persistent symptoms after the SARS-CoV-2 infection are becoming a public health concern. For example, a recent study done by JAMA Network Open Specialists found that 30% of people who have had COVID-19 still have symptoms up to 9 to 12 months later. Specialists found that post-COVID-19 syndrome appears to be more common in adults than children and teens. So, whether you have been sick or not, it is time to protect your immune system from the long-term impact of the SARS-CoV-2 coronavirus that causes COVID-19. Suppose you are having issues with your breathing. After recovering from COVID-19, in that case, breathing problems can cause pneumonia damaging the tiny air sacs in the lungs and leaving scar tissue, and leading to long-term breathing problems, such as shortness of breath. Specifically, when the diaphragm, the main breathing muscle, is weakened by inflammation from infection or being on a breathing machine for multiple days, it can affect how much effort it takes to breathe. A July 2020 study published in The Lancet magazine found that over 60% of recovered non-critical patients with COVID-19 had persistent respiratory issues three months after hospital discharge. Additionally, over 70% had abnormal findings on lung computerized tomography scans, and 25% had a decline in lung function. Doctors are seeing lung scarring for many patients who have been in the intensive care unit for multiple weeks with COVID-19. However, there are more physical symptoms of the damage once the patient returns to their normal life, related to the ability to walk and the need for extra oxygen. Another study published in the Annals of Clinical and Translational Neurology found that 30% to 40% of former patients of COVID-19 have neurological after-effects. For decades experts have known that all viruses can affect the brain and its function. Dr. Zoe Arvinitikas, a neurologist from a Chicago, Illinois medical center, indicates many patients who have had COVID-19 struggle with various thinking speed problems, which last for months after their initial infection, including difficulty with concentration and attention, memory, and word finding. These symptoms have been called brain fog. Other post-COVID-19 problems, such as sleep disturbances and fatigue, can further contribute to thinking problems, making day-to-day -day life, work, and activities more difficult. In many cases, 
as Dr. Arvind Itakas from Chicago said, that cognitive-related symptoms seem to improve gradually over time. Time can be a great healer, she says. Something else, other medical studies revealed 50% of patients who have recovered from COVID-19 showed lasting inflammation and damage to the heart muscle, even in people who had only mild symptoms of the virus. The COVID-19 can directly attack the heart muscle cells, diminishing the heart's function, according to Dr. Joseph Milarsik, an American cardiologist. Common symptoms due to heart damage from COVID-19, which appear within the first two months of the infection include fatigue, chest pain, severe dizziness, shortness of breath, and irregular heartbeat. Additionally, post-COVID-19 syndrome long COVID patients often complain of digestive problems, including abdominal discomfort and diarrhea. Least but not last, the virus impacts survivors physically but also psychologically, and it's critical to treat the whole person, specialists say. After COVID-19, it's important to seek treatment for all changes in your body and mind. While experts worldwide discuss the long-term effects of the virus, including pulmonary, cardiovascular, and neurological complications, as well as rehabilitation and psychological concerns, they are also learning how to help COVID-19 long haulers manage their symptoms. Although we currently do not know the full extent of the damage due to COVID-19, one thing remains clear. Wearing a mask and other safety precautions, like washing and sanitizing your hands, are better alternatives than even a mild case of COVID-19 and its potential long-term impact. Now, effective treatments to address both physical and psychological effects of COVID-19 include virtual therapy, support groups, and mindfulness activities like yoga and meditation. Abigail Hardin, a rehabilitation psychologist from Chicago, said that there are evidence-based effective treatments for anxiety, depression, and stress to help with physical changes from COVID-19. In addition to time, however, it is recommended to try other health-promoting approaches and activities. Regular exercise, mental exercises, safely socializing, a healthy diet, and good sleep habits are all ways to help manage or potentially recover from the cognitive side effects of COVID-19, Dr. Arvanirkis says. Other effective treatments include physical therapy, occupational therapy, speech therapy, and psychological therapy. By their side, other experts also emphasize the importance of movement and exercise, especially for patients with COVID-19 who have a prolonged hospital stay. These patients can lose at least 20% of their muscle mass, so doctors encourage patients to incorporate daily exercises, even the smallest movements, to help improve and maintain their muscular strength. If you're struggling to find an effective treatment for the long-term effects of SARS-CoV-2 coronavirus infection, you may have been looking for alternative medicines. There is some research starting now in this field, but it's still in an early stage. We're listing some products here that may be useful to strengthen your immune system and relieve the post-COVID-19 syndrome, according to some expert physicians. We do not endorse them, it's for your information only. So before starting any natural treatment or supplement, talk about it with your health provider. A few natural products tested on post-COVID-19 syndrome patients include prebiotics and probiotics. So far, no studies have evaluated the use of probiotics for managing long COVID. Still, According to the International Scientific Association of Probiotics and Prebiotics, many researchers are assessing the ability of various probiotic strains to reduce the viral load via different mechanisms of action. Some studies have also shown that specific vitamin and mineral supplements, such as vitamin C, 
may help long haulers recover from fatigue. These products may help the body fend off viral infections and boost immunity, preventing prolonged post-COVID fatigue and gastrointestinal problems. Limited data suggest that supplements may also improve cognitive and mental symptoms like brain fog and anxiety. Vitamins B and C, iron, and magnesium are all involved in energy metabolism and can help fight physical and mental fatigue. The results look promising, but more research is needed to assess the efficacy of using dietary supplements for COVID long haulers. Melatonin is another supplement currently being tested for long COVID treatment. Researchers focus on melatonin's ability to reduce blood vessel permeability, reduce anxiety, and improve sleeping patterns. Honeybee products, including honey, beeswax, and propolis, are commonly used for their medicinal properties, including for symptoms of viral respiratory tract infections. Propolis antiviral and anti-inflammatory properties suggest it may also help treat long COVID and post-COVID-19 syndrome. Curcumin has too the potential to help with long COVID due to its ability to block viral replication and control inflammatory cytokines. Further research is needed, including finding a way to increase its bioavailability. Even though, in theory, these natural products may be able to help long haulers, the reality is that further research is needed to confirm their safety and efficacy. And even if they do help, these supplements will never be a cure for long COVID-19. Instead, it takes a more comprehensive treatment approach to recovery than natural supplements alone can offer. We invite you to visit our website where you will find out informative articles, healthy recipes, and product ideas to improve your health in a natural way. Choose to be healthy and stay safe until our next video. Follow us on Twitter as to be healthier and subscribe now to our YouTube channel. Remember we were your trustworthy online resource on natural health, and always keep in mind that prevention is better than cure. Thank you for watching. My name is Ron Hammond, and this is the You Can Be Healthier TV channel by Wings of Love.